So essentially when adventurers go adventuring, they only take what's necessary, the bare minimum, to get the job done. So in a sense that's what I'm doing here. I'm just stripping it right back to the bare minimum that's going to get me to my office. And in a sense the bare minimum that's going to do it safely. My biggest concerns for the trip are my feet. So my feet aren't used to this, I'm not used to walking around without any shoes on. So there will be one backup. If I can't complete the trip in bare feet, I will go to shoes, but only if I have to. I'd usually be standing here in the morning, 50 minutes from my desk, and it's now gonna take me 50 hours. So it's amazing what can take place in 50 hours as opposed to 50 minutes. So what starts is the, the, the Swaggy's Dilemma. What do I take and what do I leave behind? Water bottles, bits of plastic, cool stuff on the side of the road, you know, because then you've got to carry it. As far as from this point on, I've got to make decisions of what becomes my inventory in life. You know, what stuff do I take with me? And that's the beauty of starting with a blank canvas. Of, I probably should have started nude, but I would have got arrested too early. Yeah, kick him up. Sweet and sour McDonald's sauces. Oh, that's freaking gross. I've grounded my swag, got some insulation, a towel, and, uh, and a little tarp. So uh, it can piss down rain, I've got warmth, I've got shelter, I've got some roots in there, my shoe. And like any sort of adventure or um, expedition, it's got that real sense of repetition. You know, it's such a bloody boring stretch of road, it still has lots to engage you if you let it. It would take me 20 years of collecting up stories uh, from behind the wheel of a car on that same road that I've just been able to do in 30 hours. It was really cool. And I walked every inch between here and home. And I don't think I'll ever see my commute in the same way.